Hello everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to the dungeon. Um, yeah, well, I've been doing something nice today. I'm going to show you an unboxing of a Harley Benton guitar. Uh, it's a double cut, in fact. And uh, what's really cool about this double cut is that I'm going to do something completely outrageous and crazy to it. Um, I'm going to cut it up and make something weird out of it. Uh, so if you want to see that, keep, stay tuned to this channel. Um, but what the actual idea is, it's uh, part of a series called The Traveling Guitar. And it's going to travel from me to the next one, who is also going to do some crazy mod. And then it's going to be sent off to the next person who can do a crazy mod. And so on and so on, until it gets back to its rightful owner, which is Brett H Brent Hutchinson. Um, uh, from the YouTube channel with the same name and he's going to unveil it in what we call the Hutch Club which is actually a really nice place on YouTube to chill and meet new people um, so uh, let me show you what happened this morning uh, when I received the package Just kidding. You just fucking mad. <laughs> Did you just fucking mad? It's just this, this guy. Just I'm still in my PJs, but this guy just came up, uh, brought the package, put it right in front of the door, and he just drove off. What a bastard! <laughs> But yeah, there's a package here. Package here, package here. It's addressed to. Really, Brent? Mr. Lurker. For real? <laughs> I like it. I love it. <laughs> package here, package here, package here. That's a. This package is a lot bigger than I expected. What did you put in here? What the fuck? Package. What the fuck? Okay, cool. Uh, hello guys. Uh, wait, there's my mic. I need to have my luscious red mic in the in the in the frame. Oh man. Uh, I just woke up because um, I slept in because I need to uh, uh, stay awake all night tonight because I have to do some uh, tests tomorrow at the hospital and uh, I kind of uh, overslept a bit because I was expecting a package and the fun thing is it just came it was just a bit weird because the DHL guy was well, uh, here's a package I'm back. but this is a big package what the I wasn't expecting that big of a package. No, I, I dropped Mr. But, um, big packages need little knives to open it. Where the hell will I begin? Let's do this on video so you can see my fuck ups. Fun thing though, it was addressed there to Mr. Mr. Lurker. <laughs> I think that's why the uh, the DHL guy just ran off. Like, oh my God, it's the house of the lurker. Let's get away from here. Um, let's see. Let's do this gently. Watch out, because I can shave myself with this. Brr. 
friend. You, sir, are the master of packaging. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I've seen unboxing videos like this. And these people always just unbox their shit like it's nothing. What the... over here away from me so I'm afraid I'll just chuck it oh, come on calls you his royal hutchness because you are the king of packaging jesus okay from Tolman in there. <laughs> Apparently you excel in crafts as well. <laughs> Here's this book. No wait, 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 there's a text in here. Let me read this. Thank you for thanks for being part of this project. Please use this book to explain your contribution to the guitar and to leave any messages for your fellow Hutch Clubbers. Don't forget to video your work for the YouTube series. Uh, also feel free to make your own video for your channel. PTO. My contribution is the guitar itself as a blank for you guys to work on. The first person is going, uh, it is going to it, it's going to okay, it, okay. <laughs> uh, to Dirk, aka the Lurker, aka the Dungeon Master. Lol. <laughs> yeah, well, you have no idea what impact you had with that. So just stay tuned. In the Netherlands, I hope it has will arrive safely. Good luck and have fun. Be a Hutch. Very cool. Um, yes, I will document it. Yes, I will make a video of it. And I'm out of focus. Why am I out of focus? There we go. Yay, I'm back into... Oh, I'm out of focus. I have to stay in the middle. Yeah. But, yeah, cool. Very cool. I'm going to make some changes to this, too. Because I, I do like this, now. I do like this, but... But, but, but... Um, yeah. You know me. I like to build stuff and create stuff and destroy stuff all in the process what's this um i know what this is i'll, I'll do that later on. but this is what we've been waiting for because this is the traveling guitar i guess well i don't know anywhere to go with it now um 
Too many boxes. Too many boxes. Interesting way of managing it. Jesus, what a box. <laughs> yeah. Um, we recorded some stuff. Um, let's start with the Hutch Club guitar. Ta ta. Someone pick this. Let me see. What are we going to work with for the next few weeks? Oh, you left it assembled. Nice. Okay. I like this. This is nice. I should do more unboxings. I really like unboxing stuff. <laughs> it's, it's like getting a present. Why doesn't this. Why is this so incredibly hard? What is going to the neck? Hmm. He didn't do anything to it because this is actually quite smooth. I wasn't expecting that. It's nice. Reasonably chunky. I like chunky. It's not big. It's a bit flat for my taste, but it feels nice. It feels good. Huh. Let's put this over here. I'm still hoping my camera up there is still working properly. Still working. This is the body. Nice. I like the white carve on it. That's pretty cool. It's actually a lot closer to an SG than I actually thought it was. I thought it would be more like a Viper, but they made some changes to the bottom. Because, as you can see, this is uh, very much the same. I mean, it's really close. It's just the um, the one horn that's a bit higher, I guess. Can we do that on my knee? Yeah, it's just the 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 larger horn is a bit longer, but mostly it's pretty much spot on. It's not. And that's good because this will make my plans for it a lot easier. It's a two piece body, I guess. One piece. I love how they just do it a bit diagonally, I guess. Can you see that? But overall, it looks good. Nice cavities. I mean, they've got a few. Uh, weird spots in there but yeah that's okay you're not going to see that anyway how does this fit in there let me see oh that is that is snug very nice did they trim that edge to be there huh. interesting very interesting. This is actually not bad. What's in the... Uh, let me see. I just realized I get to do a Harley Benton unboxing for the for my own channel. Um, but I didn't actually order a Harley Benton. <laughs> it just got sent to me. Uh, oh yeah, with the blah blahs and the blah blahs and the blah blahs. Oh, this is nice. Oh, cool. Guitar and balls. Yeah, that's going to help a Dutch one. This is all kind of problem. 
So, ja, vielen Dank für das ihr im Gitarrenbaus das entschieden haben. Ja, super. But let's for the sake of the video continue in English. Uh, let's see. Oh wow. This is actually three ply. I said you were it was I thought you said it was one, but it's actually three ply. It's got this white layer in it. That's not bad. Strings, we're gonna reuse those. cables I've ever seen. Oh, this doesn't belong to a, um, this is for me. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. I really appreciate this. Nice. This is going to go to the other build, the Telemaster. Just have to figure out how to wire all that shit because everything's been taken off. Yes. Is this all the stuff for the Harley Benton or did you just push it? Okay, let's see what's this. This looks like it's for a tally. Tally pickup, also interesting. Not for the Hutch Club guitar though, but for the Jaguar, uh, the, ja the, uh, the uh, Tally Master build. Oh, I like this. Because I always, I, I, don't, I dislike the edges on this, the stand up edges. So I'm actually kind of glad that this is flat. Really good. Yeah. Okay, parts for the Hutch Club guitar. Okay, wiring. As expected with the um, plugs. You just, it's a quick plug-in system. It's solderless, so you just, you can just put it together. And that'll be the end of it. Um, very nice. Actually, it's a lot better quality than I expected it to be. I'm not usually a big fan of cheap stuff, but this actually feels good. The pots feel it a bit heavy, even. They kind of feel really, really nice. So, that's some parts. Oh, yeah, the pickups. There's nothing on the back. I'm guessing these are Roswells. I do like how they put the extra solder in. Sometimes uh, that isn't the case. Looks like they're. Is that wax? Is it really? Oh wow, they're really waxed. That's pretty cool. Of course, I've got two of those. Oh, here's the plate with the treble and rhythm section. So, yeah. For the next few weeks... Oh, look, these are my tuning pegs. Thanks again, Brent. So, this stuff... That's what I got from Brent, for me. And these are... Oh, these are... Oh, I like those knobs. Oh, I really like those. Thanks, Brent. These are nice. Toggle switches. Also for the Plywood SG. Ah, this is what I was looking for. I haven't seen. I'm guessing these are for the. Hutch Club guitar. These are actually not bad. I mean, the bridge, it's a bit. Um, why isn't this flat? But it's not bad. It's reasonable quality. Feels good. Well, there's a little bit of movement in here. Maybe the screw isn't all the way. I even started mumbling. I have to put the uh, mic closer to me. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good, to be honest. So, basically, because we've all seen it completed. But it's actually 
actually a pretty decent fit. Uh, let's put this away. Oh. Wrong lid. Okay. Let's put this back in here. Looks like as though this box has been through hell. I mean, Jesus. But yeah, I do like the body. It's really smooth. It kind of looks good. It's, it's a nice grain in there. I mean, it's, it's not premium or anything, but it's it's actually really nice. You've even got some lighting on it. I mean, it's very well sealed. You can see when you look in there. Let me take this. You can actually see when you look inside the cavities. Um, that, yeah, well, they are a bit um, rough. And so is the drilling. It's not exactly spot on. I got me the hiccups. Yeah, you can see that this side is a lot higher than on a normal SG. They're almost next to each other. But other than that, it actually looks like an SG. It's not that far off. So that's going to make my idea for the guitar a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be really interesting to see um, what this is going to do. And I just realised I've been really unprofessionally filming this, but hey, it's the dungeon master. So what you're gonna do? I'll just put down the extra uh, camera. Okay, that's uh, that's really cool. Um, uh, I can't wait to start this, to be honest. It's just going to be a fun project. I'm going to go to the wood store somewhere this week um, to get some wood. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why does he need wood? He's got an entire guitar in front of him. It's going to be a surprise, but I've got some ideas. Um, and yeah, next week we'll get cracking on this. Still can't get over the fact that this white car... Wish I had that on my, I did that on my, uh, on Plint Eastwood, on my SG build. I really like the wide bevel. It's really nice. It's really pointy too. Pointy's good. Um, yeah, really cool, dudes. I like it. Um, this, um, was the unboxing for the dungeon master uh really hope you like it and uh, let me know in the comments um if there's anything i should do to it because i'm playing a few weird things to do to this guitar um which um uh, i'm not going to tell you just yet but if you've got some weird ideas and some funny ideas um let me know in the comments uh, or uh, send me a picture of what you like or what you want and maybe I can make it happen well this was the uh, unboxing of the traveling guitar aka the Harley Benton double cut kit uh, which we will be cutting up somewhere next week uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah well let me know if you want something else Dungeon Master out